this is part two of my uh, freedom of information request regarding the HR 1242 bill. from high school ready for college or career. Completing post-secondary education or training. Successfully entering the workforce. Reducing violence and providing a second chance for returning citizens. I applaud the many organizations actively working to address these uh, opportunity gaps faced by African Americans. In my community of the 2nd Di Congressional District of Nebraska, I appreciate the efforts of Willie Hamilton, President the Founder and Founder of Black Men United, his true grassroots leader. In addition, I want to highlight some other organizations and work that's ongoing in the district. I serve to implement, uh, these organizations are serving to implement a coherent cradle to college and career strategy for improving the life outcomes of all young people. These organizations include the Urban League of Nebraska, the Start Center that is run by my friend Julian Young, the Omaha Empowerment Network, coordinated by Willie Barney, the Eastern Nebraska Community Action Partnership, the Wander Black Men of Omaha, the Malcolm X Foundation, the Operation Youth Success, members of the Midlands Mentoring Partnership, the efforts of the City of Omaha through the Black Male Achievement Program, previously coordinated by Cameron Gales, another friend of mine. Like all complicated issues facing Americans, we need this type of strong community support, along with smart, bipartisan legislation to address these problems. As the African American History Commission develops programs, I hope they will consider inspiring communities to continue building partnerships between local organizations... Start up your charities now, because you should be benefiting from this. ...women with support networks, mentoring programs, and the skill and training they need to succeed in the classroom and in the workforce. While we learn from and celebrate the past, we also look to a much brighter future for all Americans. And I thank you, and I yield back my time to my friend and colleague from Texas, and I appreciate the speaker. This is an opportunity for us to rejoice and get some real truthful information. So, like I said in my previous video, you need to write your freedom of information request. Now, here's a template, and it's very simple. <coughs> Pardon me. As you can see, my first question is, what are the original source documents that the HR 1242 bill is referring to on where they invited African Americans? That's my first question. Second, from what location in the world were these people mentioned in the bill invited from number three what was the name 400 years ago of those people that were invited four um can copies of the original documentation from 400 years ago in regard to the bill can that be supplied to me and also i added a fifth question which is what deity and religion did these people speak i mean what deity and religion did these people worship now who i've written to i've written to the archive department at lambeth palace i've written to the royal naval college in greenwich the um the Ford House Building in Washington, the NAACP headquarters in Baltimore, USA, the Freemason Hall in Edinburgh, Scotland, um, an old Siemens Mission charity in London, the Imperial War Museum in London as well, and the Royal Collection Trust in Windsor Castle, England. The um, Archive Department of the House of Commons. <coughs> anyway, I've written the letters and for me it's as though this could be biblical scripture being fulfilled. You know, enslavement for 400 years, then things are going to change. So that's why I feel it's really important and um, 
I'm trying to encourage everyone to write because if these various organisations that were around in 1619 or have the archive from that time if we write to them all then we ne will need to get a response and hopefully if there are enough people writing they won't see this as an act of defiance because under freedom of information request you're just asking for information from archives which they're always hiding and they make it very difficult to try and get into so um, but this is where it's places like this where the information is so is it scripture being fulfilled it could be I don't know only the most high knows that but I feel that it's an ample opportunity for um, people of colour and part of the diaspora to inquire about this and uh, it's important for all of us to get to know what's what and don't worry about these shady characters coming to the door if there are enough of us inquiring and writing and wanting this information they can't you know I mean our grandparents had enough hassle so if that's a hassle a do knock at the door from someone in black well so be it but let's all be on the right page thank you for watching